the Tarot Bee, it's Debbie here with your reading for the 3rd of March 23. Let's get on and shuffle the cards. What do we have for our message today? We've got our message for the 3rd of March. So we're going to start off with our Psychic Tarot deck. Okay, 3rd of March. That's the overall message you need to take away from our reading. Okay then, we're going to start up with light is sunshine which is lovely a lovely message to start us off happiness joy judgments as well so second chances rebirth transformation reassessment of goals right this one's dropped out to bring us in, we've got the five of wands. There's some conflict, some tension there in the past. And leading us into the future, we have the page of swords. But the page of swords there is coming in reverse. So that's somebody who doesn't want to change their views, their attitude. You know, someone who's quite stuck in... Not very clear about their attitude. Someone who may be immature... Uh, somebody quite rigid, I'd say, a rigid thinker. Someone stubborn. Clarifying the judgment, we've got the Queen of Cups. So, we may have a female around us. Water sign, 30 hour over, or you may be just embodying this energy right now. Queen of Cups is a loving card so we may have a second chance with a female this could be a love interest that we have a, a second chance with could be a mother with this can be a mother figure as well okay some judgment coming through for this female we'll get more information on that in a minute I feel like they're looking back on this argument. Right, this argument, this could be an argument amongst friends. Okay, so it could be fighting amongst a group of friends because the Three of Cups is like a, the friendship card for me there. This argument may have even occurred while you were out having a drink or out celebrating something. Um, that I see some jealousy around you with females. Someone may even be making judgments on you. Someone may be passing judgment on you. There may be gossip. Okay, we're here, hearing people speaking about you there with that trumpet. There's a trumpet there. The Six of Swords. Six of Swords coming in to clarify the Page of Swords there. So Six of Swords is about movement. It's about escapism. But something's keeping you stuck from moving on. And it's to do with like your attitudes being out of date or somebody. It's like somebody not making a sensible decision. Let's say that. Let's get some more information on what's happening. Seven of Wands. So I feel like you're defending yourself against a group of people at the moment. I feel like that's what's going on. You may be having some clarity on a situation you may be seeing the truth you may be seeing another side of somebody okay the devil we've got some toxic toxic energy here around us we're trying to block it out we're trying to protect ourselves from this you know i've seen alcohol being involved here i've seen alcohol in two of these cards 
So alcohol may feature, there may be an addiction problem or something like that. We've also got that mother card energy there as well. Five of Swords. So this is... This is change coming through. This is change coming through in your mindset. I feel like you're trying to break free of an addiction or of a group of people who don't serve you anymore, so a toxic friendship or a toxic partner. This is you trying to defend yourself against that. You may be a mother or you may have to be caring for a carer. I see this as being somebody who's like in a carer position. I feel like you want to stand up for yourself and tell tell bullies, tell gossips, tell people who um, are abusive to you to back off. You gonna you want to turn your back on any arguments, any bitterness, any toxicity. You want to be turning your back on that right now. That's how I'm seeing it playing out. Somebody's coming out, walking away from this wounded. Somebody's walking away from this wounded and there's others who've got, who I feel have got weapons against you or holding something against you. I feel like somebody has something on you and um, they're holding, holding something against you. Six of Cups. This could be people from your past. This could be... A group of people from your childhood. This could be a child or sweetheart. This is this is the past catching up with somebody. Okay, this is could be the past catching up with somebody. Again, I don't know why, but I'm seeing like drink, alcohol is be is is an is a problem here. It's causing problems. It's coming between you and somebody else. I see it as being a mother figure, but it doesn't have to be. I've also got a group. There's a group here in the back in the past that have not been getting along. That's there's been arguments and battles amongst the, what were a group of friends. It could be childhood friends. But I feel like you're trying to get yourself away from something really toxic, and I feel like you're standing up to yourself, standing up for yourself. Five of Cups, so another five. This is about change. Now, this is about sadness. So with these, these changes might come some sadness. Okay, you might be dwelling on what you've lost rather than what you have. And um, that might be keeping you stuck. It might be keeping you stuck um, in the future there, stuck from moving, from escapism. There is a path here for you to go on. There, there is a path. You've got a cross, there's a crossroads. You've got a decision to make about your journey, about how where you go from here, okay? It's that, uh, sadness is going to be holding you back. I've just flipped a card. Sadness is going to be holding you back. Um, it's a bit like feeling sorry for yourself, that energy I feel. Got the eight of coins. So that's you working. A wheel of fortune. Somebody could be manifesting. Somebody could be manifesting. There is a new direction. There is a new direction. I look out for an Aquarius around who may be blocking the path. Something's blocking the path, but I think this is more to do with like blinkered attitudes. Um, not seeing past something. I mean, like a fog or confusion about where you're going because maybe you're stuck in the past a little bit. I see somebody's like stuck in the past here. But there is a get out. I do see there is a get out. There is an escape route here. There is an escape route for you. You you know, you're at the start of the, some sort of journey there as we're moving forward. You, you may have to travel, um, move away for work. Work may be related to this somehow. You may have to change jobs because we've got the work card. This may be a, a work situation. But I'm seeing changes coming in. And it's like phase to changes. Like these changes have to happen. I'm seeing three cards which symbolise change there. 
you know, change in mindset, changes in terms of your um, emotions. Okay, the Princess of Cups is interesting that that's come out again because that did flip before. Maybe you want to make amends with people from your past because this would be telling me that somebody wants to offer the cup of love. And I have got you at the moment wanting to communicate with these people from your past which are causing conflicts and drama. Um, this, there's a lot of toxicity here. For some reason, somebody wants to come in with an apology. That could be you or that could be the other person. That did flip it. What is to come out a bit earlier, that card? Maybe you feel like you can't move on, you can't rest until you've settled or you found some resolution to a problem. The star. So we've got the star and the sun. And the wheel of fortune there, don't forget. And all this green. I feel like there's so much luck on your side right now. There's so much luck. But you've got some sort of blinkered attitude, some rigid thinking like um, it's it's stopping you from moving forward. I don't know what that's about, whether it's self-doubt, procrastination, I don't know what that is. Something, something is blocking you from moving forward here. But you seem to have a wish, you seem to have a dream, a goal. You, you you seem to be having some like clarity right now. This, the sun is shining down on this situation. But there's something that needs to be said and it's directed at this group of people in the past here. That might be what's blocking it. But you've got some lovely cards there. I've dropped one. Got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Where's it gone, the card? It's the Ace of Coins. The card that dropped was the Ace of Coins, but it was in reverse. So I'm not sure which way to take it. I feel like there's some attachment issues. And it's blocking it's it's blocking the path, it's blocking this new start. This would be another a new start as well. This could be an offer of a job. This could be um you know, you could be having an offer here that's gonna help you increase your finances, okay? It's gonna further you up the career ladder something like that it's gonna it's gonna boost you in some way um there's a lot of there's an offer of some sort and there's a lot of value to it but you can't move forward because you're stuck and i think that i think that you're afraid of something you're afraid of letting go or you're afraid you're afraid of losing something Maybe it's losing security. You're afraid of losing some security from, from being around a loved one. Is this loved one protecting you somehow? You know, I feel like you need to move forward in order to reach your goal. I think you know that as well. You're looking up. You're looking up, you're full of optimism and positivity. And but you, you but there's apprehension. That there's apprehension here. There's, there's something holding you back, then it and it's I feel like it's got something to do with someone toxic from your past, so either a toxic group of people or a toxic person from your past. I see alcohol as being an important thing here somehow so this could be addiction problems for some people or that may feature in the in the tensions in the conflicts but you don't want to you don't want to lose something so perhaps you want to go and offer someone an apology or you want to make amends before you do make those steps to move on maybe that's what it is maybe that's what i'm seeing here You know, you, you, 
there's someone very intuitive around. Perhaps you're seeking help from and guidance from someone very intuitive, a psychic or a healer or something like that. Perhaps you go into a healer right now. You know, we see healing with the star as well. One final card. The Eight of Cups. So this is this was our last card yesterday as well, wasn't it? I think um, it's walking away. It's it's making that decision to turn your back and walk away. You, you've done everything you can possible. You may be you may be saying sorry in this message. You may be apologising. There's nothing more you can do. You've tried everything you can. You know that. You know, in this card, I always see lots of conflict and drama behind and someone's turning their back to that. You know, they've stacked the cups, you know, and they know where they're headed. They're heading towards this wish. They're heading towards this dream. They're on the path. They're at a crossroads now. It's fated. This is a lucky. It's going to be a lucky move. And I definitely see work being an importance here as well. An offer, a valuable offer on the table. So my advice would be not to let people from your past hold you hold you back. You know, don't over don't be too over reliant on though on people that you know are serving you no purpose. You know, you need to turn your back on that and walk forwards, head to your for you know, try and change your mind change your mindset. Alter your attitudes a bit. Because the bl blinkered attitudes are, are holding you back from moving forward, from moving on, from escapism. Okay, what have we got for a final message for the 3rd of March? Final message for us. I do see an Aquarius person featured here as well. It may be somebody to watch out for. Oh, dropping all the cards. Right. Ten of Pentacles. The big ten. Now I see, I see this as being where you're headed. I see this as being where you're headed to because. I mean, there may be arguments about it. inheritance. This could be a sum of money, a lump sum of money that is causing the problem here. It could well be that. But what I, how I see this is, you know, to get to the number 10, a lot of hard work, determination has to be put in to, to reach this point. You know, this, uh, this is the ace and that's the 10 there. You know, this is the journey. And right now, something's blocking it. And it's a fear, it's a fear of losing. You see, it is, it's a fear that you're going to lose something, someone. But I do see this as being a really amazing offer that's on the table. Look, we've got the Ten of Pentacles and we've got the Light card there, the Sun. So you've got a very good offer and it's an offer for a very secure stable future where you've got everything you need you don't you're not going to want for anything it's very very stable but in order to get there you've got to turn your back on something emotionally you've got to turn your back on people in your past someone from your past okay so i hope that made sense hope you enjoyed today's message don't forget do give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already i really appreciate your support as always lots of love i'll be back tomorrow take care